The graph above here shows the relationship between the amount of gasoline remaining in a 50 liter tank and the distance driven for a certain car. What does the x-intercept represent in this situation? So we're focusing here. These word problems can be a bit tricky to understand, but we're focusing on this particular x-intercept. What does it mean? Now, is it A, fuel capacity of the gasoline tank? Now, we start off with an initial volume, but we're not even sure if our gas tank is full, so we don't have enough information, so this choice A is incorrect. We, it could be that in the beginning of this car trip, the gas tank is only half full, so we have no idea about the fuel capacity. B, total dis distance traveled during a long trip. Now, it is true that we are traveling 700 kilometers, but when we look at the other choice, total distance driven until the car is out of gas, we can see the volume of gas dropping down to zero. This here is more specific, so choice C is, is much better. Choice D, number of kilometers driven per liter of gasoline. Now here we're talking about fuel efficiency, and the fuel efficiency would relate to the, the graph's sl slope, and we're not we're not given the uh, we're not interested in the slope slope we're interested in the x-intercept the question is talking about the x-intercept so we're not ta talking about the slope so this is not the uh, fuel efficiency we're going to cancel out d we're interested in this intercept when we hit this point that's choice c the total distance driven until the car is out of gas so thinking about this question what other questions can we can we have now, what about what if the question is talking about the slope? What is the meaning of the, the slope of this graph? It's going to be the number of kilometers driven per liter of gasoline. What about the y-intercept? What does the y-intercept mean? The y-intercept is how much gas there is at the beginning of the trip.